Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, I'm Nicole. If you could please subscribe to my channel, turn your notification bell on, give this video a thumbs up, and leave a positive comment. I do appreciate it. As you can see by the title, I'm going to be reviewing the Morphe Mickey and Friends Truth Be Bold palette. I think that this is an adorable theme palette. Um, as many of you know, my family loves Disney and we all love uh, Mickey and we watch it often. And whenever I seen that they had this collection, I wanted it so bad, but I didn't get it right away. I actually purchased all these items half off. If you're interested in seeing that haul, I'll leave it linked down below. But this is what it looks like. I did haul this from Ulta. I think that these shades are absolutely beautiful. I also have the little palette as well. This is just the little 9 pan palette. I'm not going to be using this one today, but I did want to go ahead and show it to you. And it does have a mirror. But these are the beautiful shades in this palette. Of course, you all know these are shades that I absolutely love. Um, but I'm not sure when I will get into this palette in particular, but today we're mainly focusing on the bigger palette and then I also have the lipsticks here, which I love the packaging of these as well. You all know I love pink and I love black. I'm also going to be testing out the adorable brushes and as you can see the detailing on them, they're really cute. Let me hold one up right here for you to see. It has uh, Minnie, Mickey, Daisy, and Donald on it. And on each brush, it does say what it is. So this is a six piece brush set. And then, um, of course, I do have the mirror, which you will be seeing me use. So, um, I'm not going to do swatches in this video, but we will go ahead and get started. To start out, I'm going to do the shade Stop and Stare, which is a light pink shade. And then I'm going to go into the shade next to it, which is Big Bows. I'm really excited to be testing this palette out. Like I said, I didn't think I was going to be able to get this palette because I kind of figured it would sell out, but I was pretty happy when I discovered it was on sale on um, Ulta's website. So I ended up getting it all there. I know that they had it on sale on Morphe's website, but I believe they didn't have... Um, the mini palette and I think maybe one other thing so I, that's why I went ahead and got it through Ulta but this is what it looks like on the brush and this is just a nice light pink shade a really good shade to use for a transition shade it's blending nicely and these brushes seem to be doing a really good job So far, I am impressed with this shade. I know it's kind of hard to see because it is a pale pink shade and it probably blends in really well with my um, skin tone and probably my eye primer. I do have my eyes primed. I forgot to mention that. It is primed with the Beauty Crop Eye Primer. That's the Stuck On You Eye Primer. and. As you all know, that's been around a while. I do really like the eye primer, but um, I am going to try to venture out soon and use um, other eye primers. Now that I'm going to go into that shade, like I said, called Big Bows. And just kind of take it in my outer V. And then work it into my crease. I 
I'm going to turn my light down just a hair. Maybe you can see it a little better now. I've been working really hard on my makeup area and trying to get my lighting to where it looks a lot better. So hopefully this is helping. That shade went really nice with the other one. And I'm using my color switch to um, go in between testing the brush. That way there's no transfer. I am going to go back into this bigger brush, which is the MM5 and go back into stop and stare just a little just to see how I like this bigger brush this one feels really nice I really do like this brush as well now I'm going to go back to using the MM4 and I'm going to dip into this deeper shade called Bathos Lashes and it does have a uh, mini mouse pressed into the pan which is really cute. Now these shades have a little bit of kickback or fallout in the pan and um, it doesn't bother me. I just wanted to mention that in case that is a deal breaker for you. I know some people are not a fan of that type of thing. But it doesn't bother me too much. Um, I'm just happy to have this palette and thankful to have it added into my collection. So here is that next shade. I'm just focusing that on the outer portion of my eye and taking it up just slightly just to accent. my outer V. Now then, I'm going to do that really quick to the other side. I think this mirror is so cute. Just look at it. Now then, um, I'm going to dip into this really beautiful um, Koi Toy shade right here, and I'm going to take that into my crease just a little. That way there's not such a dramatic difference in the two shades. And I'm just going to take that into my crease. And um, this does have a little shimmer in it, but it is not much. absolutely beautiful. Now then I'm going to dip in to the shade on the dot. I want to take that just slightly above my crease and I'm going to use the MM3. I just want to take it just a little bit above, just add a little bit of color, and my goodness, look at that. Well, this is definitely a really good packing brush for sure. Trying to diffuse it a little bit. 
so it's not too much. There we are. I'm going to see if there's any left to do this side where it kind of matches. Where it's not too much. Now I want to test out the shimmer shade and I think for this look I want to use the shade super sassy I think it is just a real beautiful purple and I think it would go cute with the colors that I chose now I'm going to test it out with a brush first to see how that applies and then I'm going to use my finger if I need to. So here we go. See how that does. I actually think that shade might need to be used with a finger but first I think what I want to do is dip into all goody which is the purple next to it and lay that down as a base because sometimes shades are meant better as a topper than they are as just a straight up shimmer so there we go now that I'm gonna get into the shade again and I'm going to use my finger this time because it's just a beautiful beautiful color this is a really nice shimmer shade I do feel like um, the extra shadow underneath did help the shade out. And this is what we have so far. I'm going to step off camera and do the rest of my face. And then I'll come back on to do lips and the lower lash line. Okay, I'm back, and this is what we have so far. I have my full face of makeup on, and the look is really coming together. Now then, I want to take this MM6, and I'm going to dip into the shade called Street Beats, which is a real pretty blue, just to add an extra pop of color this eye look and I'm just going to take it to my lower lash line I do like to do this often when it comes to eye looks and then there are times where I will use the same shade at the bottom but I just wanted to add a little extra something to the eye look and I will be going back into a pink shade just to buff it out a little this is a really pretty blue And this is what we have so far. I'm going to take a clean brush here and kind of buff it out a little. Now then I'm going to go into the um, Koi Toy that I used earlier and take it down here as well just to add a little bit more
color to the look. Now that I'm going to go ahead and do my lower mascara, I'm just using this little Wet n Wild sample I have called Big Papa. I did use this in a full face of Wet n Wild. When that video is up, I will leave it linked in this description box so you can find it. But I was pretty impressed with a lot of the products I used in that video. I really do like this. Now then, um, I'm going to go ahead and get into the lip products. Of course, um, there are three different shades. This first one is a real beautiful bright pink. I mean, it's called Goody Goody. Um, then the next one is Oh Boy, which is a real beautiful red. And I just love how all these have the detailing on the lipstick. It has Mickey, Minnie, Donald, and Daisy. And then this last one is called Bow Babe. Which is a real pretty nude. Um, now then, I'm going to go ahead and just do Bow Babe. And I'll probably throw a gloss on top of it. This is just a nice brown nude. Really nice color. I do like how this fills on my lips. Um, it does glide on nicely. Um, I've actually never used a Morphe lipstick before. I do have one that I was saving for a video, but I never did get around to using it. But now that I'm just going to apply a little bit of gloss on top. And I always wipe off my applicator before I dip back into my gloss just so I don't end up changing the shade of gloss or mess up the formula and make it go bad before it needs to. I'm just using one of um, Jeffree Star's glosses called Beaded Glass. But this is the final look. I'm really, really impressed with this palette. I think it is absolutely beautiful. I love how the shades perform that I used. I just think they are really great colors. And I cannot wait to play around in this palette some more. But... Um, I really do like the brushes as well. I really think this is a great collection. I think that this palette has a lot of fun pastel colors that you can use in springtime and go into pops of color. You can do neutral looks. You can do a lot with this palette. It's just a fun palette to play around with. Um, if they are still available on Morphe's website and Ulta's website, I will leave them linked down below. That way you can get to them. I did purchase these in an Ulta haul. I'll leave that video linked down below as well, like I've mentioned before. I want to say thank you all so much for watching. If you are new, I'm Nicole. If you could please subscribe to my channel, turn your notification bell on, give this video a thumbs up, and leave a positive comment. I do appreciate it. Always remember to have love in your heart. Put a smile on somebody's face and do something kind for somebody, because you never know how much it may mean to them. As always, I love you all so very much, and I'll see you next time. Bye.